Hello everyone, welcome to the start of a new weekly vlog. I got news for you, you girls got the lurgy. <laughs> I literally can't believe we've managed to avoid it for two years and I've got it this week. I am going to try and vlog as much this week as I can. It'll be like a lockdown self-isolation vlog, see what I get up to. <laughs> but yeah, I can't believe it. So here's my test that I did last night. Here she is so scary like i've been worrying about this moment for so long and it's happened and it's kind of just like oh, okay then you just have to get on with it don't you but yeah i don't know how i caught it i don't know where i caught it from jeff's also tested positive last night as well so we both got it at the same time um very weird my sister's partner has caught it and tested positive yesterday as well so i reckon it might have been because we were all out we went out with some family on sunday to a pub and it could well have been then um because it's just too much of a coincidence isn't it that like us three tested positive on the same evening also my mum and dad and my sister have a sore throat so they're probably going to be next the timing of it is so bad because it's just birthday on monday and i had a surprise dinner booked with some of his friends like it was going to be a surprise dinner party and now I just don't know if that's going to happen. Um, if we're testing negative for a couple of days before that, then I, I hope it will. But I've also got my hen party next week. So I'm just really hoping. Um, I think it was 11 days till my hen party yesterday. So yeah, 10 days will have been and gone. So I should be fine to go on that. Oh, it's just so shit. So yeah, yesterday I woke up and I was a little bit snotty. But it just felt like a little bit of a cold. I took a test because I had an event to go to, took a test, it was negative. I was like, okay, I'm fine to go to this event. And then I got home from it and then I was fine. Like I wasn't sneezy at the event at all. Yeah, and yesterday, yesterday evening, I just came down like quite tired. I, I had to have a nap on the sofa and I started getting like a bit of a sore throat. Um, and I wasn't gonna do another PCR because I was like, I've done one this morning, it's not, so I'll do one like today. But I did one last night anyway because Jeff's G did one and he's had a line on it. So I did mine and it was like proper. It's so quick, like scary how quickly you can change. But yeah, just had a very awful night's sleep. I'm not feeling good. It's weird I don't have like the typical three COVID symptoms. I don't have the cough, the temperature or the change to my smell and taste. But I do um, have a bit of a sore throat. I feel very achy. Like my whole body's achy, I have a headache, couldn't sleep at all last night. Yeah, and I feel like I'm a bit, not wheezy, but like it's, yeah, you can definitely tell it's on my lungs. So scary, guys. <laughs> Keep testing, please. It's so silly, like the rules in England have changed last week. Um, if you tested positive from last Thursday, you don't need to self-isolate. So technically, G and I could go and go get on with our normal lives like you're advised to stay home for five days and you're advised to like avoid public transport and like busy areas um but isn't it just funny how we've avoided it all this time and then as soon as that law changed we've caught it like people are definitely taking the government's advice for it and now going out and living their life with it today's wednesday i need to do a bit of a online food shop i think because we've got nothing in for lunches we've run out of pills like i need some cold and flu pills bits for the weekend so yeah that's like the first on my list of things to do today also we had an appointment at lunchtime today to go and give notice at our local like registry office for our wedding I'm gonna have to cancel that oh my god it really hurts to talk this much i've got some videos to edit i'm gonna try try and work as much as i can but also not gonna put too much pressure on myself if i can't because i need to rest up and like, if you can't rest up when you've got COVID, when can you? I'm paranoid that Maurice is gonna get COVID. <laughs> Put it in the groom because he hasn't had a groom in a while. And I, th I thought cats are supposed to, or like pets in general, are supposed to be with you when you get sick. But he hasn't. <laughs> Maybe dogs. Cats don't have any sympathy. Yeah. Come on, more weeks. Give us some love. Hairy boy. This is what the next five, ten days will look like in this house. 
Okay, get me you smart little boy. Gotta brush those armpits. <laughs> this this could be on OnlyFans, this. Yeah, pe people should be paying for this kind of content. Only cat fans. Only fans. Look at him, he loves it. Oh, today's been a write-off, guys. Had a nap. This vlog is going to be so boring. But my food shop's just come. So I want to show you what I got. Basically, just got some ready meals and, like, very easy stuff. Soup, we got a carrot, honey and parsnip, and a roast chicken. Got some oven chips. Um, lemon, ginger, loads of fruit, basically. I got a cheeky Charlie Biggins because... That is just easy for when you don't want to cook. And some veg and pizza. Kiwis, they're so good for you. I got loads of pills. And I even got Maurice some dreamies. Oh, dreamy. Yeah, you do. Come on then. Good boy. Oh, you're not used to that one, are you? There we go, good boy, good boy. Right, I'm gonna put all this food shopping away. 37.5, that's normal, isn't it? Isn't it like 30, yeah, 36 to 38. Today is Thursday, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Um, day, technically like day three of COVID. I woke up feeling so much better this morning, but I think that's because I got a good night's sleep last night. Oh, yeah, one thing I've noticed is that, like, my fitness level's gone down. Like, I can't, like, walk up the stairs without getting out of breath. That's so bad, isn't it? For someone quite, like, healthy and fit and who can do, like, half an hour peloton ride. <clears throat> that is quite bad. But, yeah, I'm just so happy I don't feel worse today than I did yesterday. I haven't even taken pills yet and I, I like I feel like I can do this. I've like sorted some washing out, tidied some bits up, um I've even like kind of put a nice outfit on. <laughs> I did just chuck this hoodie on over the top because I was I wanted to be a bit more snuggly. Yeah, I've put a little skirt on. This is so old, this is from Primark. I've had it for like 10 years. And this little strappy um, top from Zara. The reason I was walking around like this this morning is because I was so hot, I was like having a hot flush. And then I got cold all of a sudden, so I put this hoodie on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and do some work today, I think, and vlog more than I did yesterday. Still taking it quite easy, but I wanna talk to you today about books at some point. We've got a meal to cook. We've still got a sense of taste and smell, which is great. I'm hoping that doesn't go because that would be really upsetting. One symptom I've got this morning, which is a bit weird, is I've got a rash on my earlobe, which is so random. I've never had that before. And I haven't caught it in anything. It's not itchy, it's just a rash. Very weird. It is half past 11, I think I'm ready for some um, pills now. I think I'm getting to that point. I can hear G downstairs hacking up, <laughs> bless him. Um, yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit shit and bunged up and just, oh, can you hear him? I have made it to one o'clock before putting my pajamas on, which is great. Um, I'm gonna do a COVID test just because I'm curious to see how harsh my line is. I didn't do one yesterday. Um, the one, the lateral flow I did to like find out I had COVID was one of the really old um, uh, throat and nose ones. And in the past couple of the months, the only ones we've been getting from the government are the nose ones. So <clears throat> just to confirm, the test that I did wasn't old. <laughs> it was from, it was a new test. But it was one of the ones that we haven't had or been sent for a few months. So, yeah, th I'm going to do a nose one. <clears throat> um, which is going to be so much easier because sticking a swab down your throat when you've got such a sore throat, like, now, isn't going to be very nice. These ones already come, like, pre-filled as well, the little tests. So, yeah, I wonder if the government have just, like, run out of these nose swabs or, or what. But I'm curious to see if this is, like, as effective in detecting COVID as the throat ones. 
for some reason i have a feeling it's not going to be as accurate but we shall see <clears throat> this also looks different to the other one which looks like this it's much smaller so yeah do this now okay oh my god, let me sort myself out oh my god okay five rotations in each nostril do this for 30 seconds squeeze it off put it in a little bag right let's have a look <gasps> oh immediate it's an immediate positive wow I've just made this set up on the sofa so I can work <laughs> before I even had a chance to sit down while Reese has uh, claimed, claimed his spot. Can I, can I sit there please? Please? No, he's feeling very playful. For dinner this evening, whilst we can still taste, we've made a burrito bowl. So we've got some refried beans, beef, salad, rice, and we've got some chipotle mayo. I think it was called, and some cheese. This looks really good. That looks so good. Today is Friday, day four. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Day four. Um, I don't think I've had hair this greasy in a really long time. It is so rank. I can't even remember. I think I washed my hair on Sunday. So it's been like six days. That is so gross. And I very kindly got sent some new products from JVN. Um, this is Jonathan, Jonathan Van Ness's new hair care range from Queer Eye. Big fan of him, big fan of his hair. <laughs> it's luscious, luscious looks. I had an event with him earlier this week and I couldn't make it because um, it just clashed with my therapy and some things I had on in the afternoon. <clears throat> so I'm really sad I didn't get to go and meet him but they very kindly sent the products over. So I thought I'd do a little review on this vlog because um, loads of you messaged me. That's so weird. Loads of you messaged me when I posted this in my story saying that you were interested in a review, particularly of these two products. So this is the pre-wash scalp oil. I've never used a pre-wash scalp oil. Um, so that is going to be very interesting and then secondly the complete instant recovery serum this is like got insane heat protection um on it so you just run this through your hair after whilst it's damp um again i've never used the serum in a kind of pot form so this is really like these are really unique to me i'm really excited about trying them i'm also going to try the hydrating shampoo conditioner and the deep moisture mask um yeah i'm really excited i love the packaging of all of this i'll do that now and then we can have a chat about how i've been doing over the past few days i would really love a bath at some point today for the past couple of days days i've been like right i want to have a bath tonight because i really felt like it would help with my kind of aching body my body isn't aching anymore which is amazing um, today I definitely feel like I've just got a head cold, like we're both so snotty and just like quite phlegmy. Definitely feel like we're getting better. It gets to the evening and then I can't be bothered to run myself a bath. But why do I have to do that in the evening? I don't. I can do that whenever I want. I'm ill. I can take time <laughs> to rest. Okay, I'm going to stop waffling. Oh, my Reese is in here as well. Pre-wash scalp oil. Massage into scalp. Disperse through ends. Leave for 15 minutes before washing the shinier healthy looking strands i don't know what's best to like just put it directly on my scalp or in my hands and then massage it through i'm gonna put it on my hands my scalp has been really dry recently so i wonder if this will this will help i'm gonna try it directly in yep. oh i can see me getting through this very quickly Also, I imagine, oh, I, just, I thought I just got a whiff of marzipan and then freaked out that I was losing my smell. I, to me, it smells like lemon, but my smell could be off. Yeah, I think most people would be quite worried about using an oil on their scalp because obviously no one wants like greasy hair on oily scalp. So we'll see how well this kind of washes out. 
why don't I do this more? Like, I could take a day each week where I spend the whole day just trying new products for you guys. That might be quite fun. I don't know why I haven't done that before. So a problem I've had over the past few days of being ill is I've been having massive guilt. Um, wait, let me just time myself. So half past nine. So I need to wash this out at quarter to 10. Yeah, I've been having massive amounts of guilt whilst being ill that I'm not working enough or doing enough. How bad is that? Like. I've got freaking COVID and in my head I'm just like, you need to be working, like I've been feeling really guilty because I haven't been able to exercise um, and like at the end of February I was like, right every day in March I want to do some sort of exercise because we've got two months to the wedding now, less than two months to the wedding, I'm going to be working out, get myself really toned um, and now 1st of March got hit with COVID and I haven't been able to do that so yeah, something in my head is proper, like, fucked up. And I guess this is something maybe to talk to my ther therapist about, about the amount of guilt that I'm feeling for not being able to, like, do work. And, like, part of me in my head is like, well, you don't feel that ill. Like, you're not stuck in bed. You can be working. Like, you can be editing. You can be, like, writing. But then also part of me is like, you're ill, like when else can you take some time off and i don't know rest and play video games in the week and have a nap in the day if you want to it's just yeah my head is really um messed up in that sense and it's been really annoying me and getting me down the past few days are any of you like that do let me know today maybe i will try and allow myself to be ill and, and rest and do no work and not beat myself up about it. Right, I'm gonna jump in the shower in 15 minutes and use these products and then I will join you after for the serum and to let you know how my hair. Look who's got into our washing basket. What are you doing? Are you feeling okay? I've been so paranoid that Maurice is gonna get COVID. This morning I was reading <coughs> uh, an um, article about this girl who had joined a cult. She's like a TikTok dancing star, right? And she joined this cult. Like, the cult has separated her from her family. It just sounds very sad. But it made me uh, <laughs> reach for this t-shirt today. You're in a cult, call your dad. My Favourite Murder t-shirt. I started listening to the My Favourite Murder audiobook uh, on Tuesday. I've read half of the book in like book form but for some reason I stopped so I've been listening to it by audiobook and I've been really enjoying it because it just sounds like a really long like six hour version of the My Favourite Murder podcast yeah I might listen to some more of that today there was a really beautiful quote in it that Karen said which I made a note of in my um on my phone so I'll read that out to you later because it actually made me cry a couple of times listening to the podcast hungry. also having covid has made me realize i have no comfy trousers like i have no jogging pants all my leggings are sports leggings all my comfy trousers are pajamas i don't have any like loungewear trousers so i might need to get myself some of those because i'm currently wearing sports leggings <laughs> um okay let's talk about the hair the hair stuff I love the smell of, well, what I can smell of the hair products. What are you doing? Stop it. They smell quite masculine, which I really like. It's like a sexy man smell. When I was brushing the hair mask through, my hair felt like silk, which was such a nice feeling. Like normally with a hair mask, it feels very soft, but it actually felt like silk. Um, so I'm just running this serum through now and I'm excited to see how it dries. I'm not going to... I'm not going to use any heat today because I don't need to let it air dry but yeah I'm excited to see kind of what it looks like once it's dry. Oh I am not feeling good today. I feel I do feel worse today than I did yesterday and I'm really like just shaky and weak. I'm going to make some lunch now and see if that helps but um, I also thought I'd show you some vitamins. Who doesn't love vitamins? Especially when you're ill. I recently put all of my vitamins into this crate. 
because I have them kind of dotted around the house and that's not very like practical when it comes to remembering to take them so I thought I'd keep them all in one place so I can see exactly what I've got um, and the vitamins that I've been taking like throughout Covid have been the Vita Biotics and um, Vitamin C yeah this is the pack I've opened already so two of those a day apparently vitamin d is quite good so i've been taking also again vitabiotics and then i read that iron is quite good as well for covid so i might incorporate a ferroglobin iron oh my god i'm so shaky take some of these that might help with my tiredness um, that is so many vitamins, isn't it? My problem with vitamins is I never know like how many is too many to take in one like one go. Like, do they cancel each other out? Do they not? I'll take I'll probably take some of those now and some of those tonight. And then also I've been taking these from Holland and Barrett. This is the um, Holland and Barrett Tribiotic um, pills. They've got loads of different ones. They very kindly sent these to me. They've got some for immunity some for metabolism which are the ones I've been taking some for mind balance but it's all all about basically getting your gut back like to a really healthy state so they've got like kiwi fiber and vitamin b6 in them basically they've just done loads of research on what makes a healthy gut and so I have been enjoying these as well so I'm going to take this at some point oh I've also got some like Barocca stuff that might be quite good to take um also something that I've really been enjoying recently and that has come into its own <laughs> throughout covid is um water drop i'm doing a job with them um but i've been like obsessed since i've been trying them out basically it's a good way to help increase your water intake because if you're like me and you don't and you like hate drinking water or you find it so boring um i've been downing like a few of these size bottles a day because of water drop they're basically like little flavored um yeah water tablets that dissolve um some of them have like vitamins in this one's got vitamin c and ni niacin they're sugar free this one is the youth one and it tastes like peaches but it's like so subtle um but i just really i've been really enjoying them i think that's also why my skin's looking quite good at the moment because we're drinking more water because of these so um yeah i've got a job with them coming up on instagram in a few weeks but i'm actually buying myself some top ups of certain flavors because i just really enjoy them i'm so thirsty them and have some of this up <sighs> okay i've had some lunch now i'm running myself a bath i've used a lush bath bubble bath the comforter I've got my water 